I don't think I should judge my family, though. You know, I'm, I'm stuck in a strange time zone myself. I'm, uh, I'm a millennial, you know? I'm part of a strange generation. Anyone here else here uh, uses like me? <laughs> I'm not saying we're a bad generation. I'm just saying we're a generation that's a tough time growing up, right? That's who we are, you know? Like the other day, I was doing laps of the park. My friend's like, Ed, good for you, staying healthy. I was like, no, I wasn't running. I was catching Pokemon. <laughs> who we are. You know what I just bought? I just bought a toy claw machine on Amazon. Yeah, toy claw machine. My friend's like, Ed, do you need a claw machine? I'm like, no, I need help. <laughs> That's right. Even at the bottom, Amazon is like, people who bought this also enjoyed a garbage can. I'm like, thank you, Amazon. <laughs> you sarcastic piece of shit. <laughs> but you know what? It's not our fault. It's not our fault. Because every new generation is a reflection of the last, right? My dad loves to buy dumb stuff on the internet. Only difference, he makes me go and get it at the post office. <laughs> yeah, I thought the last time you had a package come, he said, Eddie, why don't you go get it? When you get it, make sure you open it front of the guy so he sees what's inside. I was like, cool, I can do that. So I'm standing there. Post office guy staring at me. Package in front of me. I open it. It was a box filled with penis enlargement pills. <laughs> yeah, whole boxer. So I'm looking at it, I look at the post office guy, he just goes, I understand. <laughs> and I was flustered, but I had to explain myself. I didn't know what to say. I was like, ah, no, 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 no. My dad made me get these. Just the worst thing you can say in that situation. Because <laughs> I just told a perfect stranger that my thing is tiny, and my dad's trying to help me fix it. I mean, it's just... <laughs> it's my generation. I want to grow up. It's hard to grow up. I'm 35, you know? I just wish I can age appropriately. You know? Like, I have the face of a child and the body of a mother. You know? It's just... This family portrait thing is not working. And this is what I realized being my 30 is, you know, I'm not old, but I'm young, but I'm not hip anymore. Young, not cool. That's the worst. I can't talk to my cousins. They're all 19, 20, 21. They don't care about anything I say. I tell them anything, they just question it. I tell them the story the other day. It was a true story. And drove them down the row, and somebody threw a diaper full of shit onto my car. Yeah. And my cousins just went, Eh! How do you use that chocolate? <laughs> like, what type of world do you live in? <laughs> that people offering in chocolate and shit bags. Like, a diaper is flying at me. I'm gonna be, Oh, maybe it's Kit Kat! No, it's Kit Kat! Get out of the way! <laughs> You know how old I want to be? Here's the total truth. I want to be 60. Who here's over 60? <laughs> Nobody. See, they're free. They're free people. <laughs> they don't need to be here. Because the minute you turn 60, society has no constraints on you. Zero. My dad is 63, and he would just watch porn in a little restaurant. <laughs> what are you going to do? Arrest him? He'll just pretend he doesn't know how to use his phone, right? He'd be like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> You can't even call him out. Be like, sir, what are you looking at? He'd be like, oh, a pee-pee. Like, you can. He doesn't care. 